Hello, everybody, and welcome to another Lion's Table. Let's take a moment to enter into the presence of God by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let God's word, which is truth, fill us and give us strength. Let us contemplate his great love for us, his sacrifice on the cross, his mercy, grace, and promise of eternal life through Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the word who was at the beginning was with God and is God. Indeed, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through him all things were made, and without him nothing was made that has been made. In him was life. Yes, in him. John 1, verses 1 through 4. Dear brothers and sisters in the body of Christ, we are so happy for you to join us in this ark of God's word, for faith comes by hearing God's word. If anyone keeps his word, the love of God has been truly perfected in him. By this we know that we are in him. 1 John 2, verse 5. And now we're going to be reading from Romans 10. The word brings salvation. And you can also find this message in Isaiah 65, 1 through 16. And now Romans 10, starting at verse 1. Brothers, my heart's desire and prayer to God for the Israelites is for their salvation. For I testify about them that they are zealous for God, but not on the basis of knowledge, because they were ignorant of God's righteousness and sought to establish their own. They did not submit to God's righteousness. For Christ is the end of the law to bring righteousness to everyone who believes. For concerning the righteousness that is by the law, Moses writes, The man who does these things will live by them. But the righteousness that is by faith says, Do not say in your heart who will ascend into heaven, that is to bring Christ down, or who will descend into the abyss, that is to bring Christ up from the dead. But what does it say? The word is near you. It is in your mouth and in your heart. That is the word of faith we are proclaiming that if you confess with your mouth Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with your heart you believe and are justified, and with your mouth you confess and are saved. It is just as the scripture says, anyone who believes in him will never be put to shame. For there is no difference between Jew and Greek. The same Lord is Lord of all and gives richly to all who call on him. For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. How then can they call on the one in whom they have not believed? And how can they believe in the one of whom they have not heard? And how can they hear without someone to preach? And how can they preach unless they are sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of those who bring good news. But not all of them welcome the good news. For Isaiah says, Lord, who has believed our message? Consequently, faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of Christ. But I ask, did they not hear? Indeed they did. Their voice has gone into all the earth, their words to the ends of the world. I ask instead, did Israel not understand? First Moses says, I will make you jealous by those who are not a nation. I will make you angry by a nation without understanding. And Isaiah boldly says, I found by those who did not seek me. I was found by those who did not seek me. I revealed myself to those who did not ask for me. But, as for Israel, he says, All day long I have held out my hands to a disobedient and obstinate people. Well, thank you for joining us for this reading of Romans 10 and this Lion's Table. We hope it has been a blessing to you. Thank you for your wonderful comments. 
your prayers are welcome, and we will always pray for you if you leave your prayer requests behind. Uh, bless you for joining us. Thank you for joining us. And as always, we look forward to you being with us again next time.